All right, hello, welcome to this video. So today is November 28, 2023. I'll be looking at the markets um, in equities and see what our expectations are. So I'm gonna get started with the DXY chart actually, daily chart. You can see my expectation is we might go further down to the 618 level of this move, bounce off of it and until we get there we might have a few more days in strength in equities that would be my expectation just from guessing this right look at the hourly chart here see if we got anything there that might be interesting we can probably try to make something out here but for that purpose we should go to a lower time frame Probably try something like this. Oops, sorry, let's do it again. We go up here, 661, which is Gartley pattern. Sufficient 618 move back up, it's actually 701. And then a 786 is where we are at right now. Or there can also be other triggers, an extension, FIB extension AB. Would take us to a one two seven two extension right around the same level or a b c d i'm just going to be lazy and just move that over also takes us here to this trigger zone and it, it triggered already so you know potentially this could go up a little bit or maybe a lot we'll see um so you know today maybe based on that we might not see that much strength we'll see right so this is just a pattern to draw here after quite some time you know nothing else really materialized here last week but this might be something to work with so accordingly you can also see that here on a one hour chart right apart from that i don't really see that much to do here uh euro usd um would have something similar but we also being reminded we had something here, but it didn't come down strong enough to at least free it too. So I'm going to delete that pattern, also the extension of it. And then if we zoom out on the daily chart, we can see we are hitting 618 yet again, um, which is in my book not really a good sign. That typically means we're going to go higher um because the first bounce actually failed right they started bouncing and then they failed because they came back now we are at it again at 618 so strength in the euro means weakness in the dollar but here the dollar might actually at least very short term have this pattern but if that doesn't hold we'll find ourselves back here on the daily chart that I've already shown and the 618 is further down there. So the strength in the euro here, if we don't, you know, reverse again at 618, you know, kind of confirms that DXY might weak. But again, this short-term Gartley pattern might at least do a little bit for maybe the open today. The VIX is low, it's below 13. These are pretty low readings right so historically you can see here around 12 that's typically a bounce level unless things get really really low and become single digit but for the most part you can see this is the, the 12 is like the line in the sand and we are at roughly 13 now so there is still a bit of room but you know there could there could always be a bounce coming back in in the es then I had drawn this bearish cipher pattern. We are long past the 786 level, which would be the typical reversal point. So we can still go down, but if the strength in DXY, sorry, if the weakness in DXY to 618 is a thing, we might actually still trend up more and then we might take out X and this whole thing here becomes obsolete. Uh, the next target in this could be this daily gap here that we reach into it or just touch it or whatever. Maybe we cover it or, you know, we fill it basically, but we are far away from it still. 
However, if this turns um, bullish again, continues to go bullish, then we might have a target here. So, but by then this pattern, you know, is not good anymore. If you look at, I have to take out these levels. These are from yesterday. Yesterday was a day where it was basically impossible to make money. I think um, an extreme chop day yesterday with very tight range. So you can see here a bit of a trend line drawn. We broke it, tried to get back to it, couldn't get higher. We're easing back, right? With an hourly chart, we cannot really draw much. I think you can see that we already undercut this level right here. Um, unless you want to draw this in a different way, but even then, I wouldn't really like a butterfly that looks like like this because it shouldn't undercut it at all. You know, even though you get the reading here and and, and so on. Let me just measure the extension. What is quirky one? Yeah, turned between one two seven two one four one four, right? So if this is a quirky butterfly, then you can expect price to continue up, and then we have to talk about DXY going up because one of them is obviously wrong. Unless they lose correlation today. Unless they lose the correlation today. I don't like this undercut that much, I must say. Right? So it's just an idea here. Um, and that's pretty much it. On a 15 minute chart, you can see this a bit closer. So, what I'm going to do is, since this is not really a valid pattern in my book, I'm actually going to get rid of it because I don't want the confusion here. But what we can do. Since we are on a 50 minute chart now and we are past um, the 8.30 opening, we can uh, put our levels in. Midnight open, right around here. 8.30 candle open. It's all the way down. Sorry, no, this is still, what, what, where is it? Oh, we're still working on 8.30, I'm sorry. So we opened here. So it doesn't matter what the candle does now as long as we know how it opened. So these are the levels. And what we can see is that the 8.30 open is below the midnight open by, what is that, eight points? Yeah, eight points. So this suggests a bearish day. We can also see that price action, you know, only went up a little bit. Went down, bit of a swing back up, but nothing dramatic, and then down again, right? So there's a possibility for the open to maybe even go here. Use the open swing high here as a stop level. Let's put the stop here, give it like five extra ticks or something. So it has to be a bit, cons you know, if you do back testing, you will find that five ticks for the last few months is actually pretty good extra extra room you give that for a stop, right? But then depending on what this keeps doing now, um, you know, it might also be a play to try to short this from here, but that really depends on the price action. The interesting thing just is that price action has not been able to reach to the midnight open again. Um, apart from that, can we draw anything here? Um, you know, as I said, you know, this weird butterfly, I don't want to keep that in here. And apart from it, I don't see, you know, that much else to do right now. You could probably try if you want to work with an extension here, but you can basically see you almost went to one, two, seven, two, and then it reversed. So let's not make it too complicated. The NQ, this is also from yesterday. I have to get rid of that as well. So midnight open is here. Then 8.30 open is down here. This is also bearish. This peaked up a little bit more above the midnight open as um, the um, 
HDS. Just an observation, but overall, obviously, not very strong. YM. Do the same thing so we get a good picture of you know whether the indexes are aligned. See, this is pretty much the same thing, and also the Russell were some ideas yesterday that didn't really materialize. So, if we can get rid of that, then look at the open here as well, right about here. Then 8.30 is the same same concept here, right? So they are all bearish looking in terms of the open. So my expectation is uh, if we have this bearish day and if we have a pattern here in the DXY suggesting strength in the DXY, which would mean weakness in the equities then the picture actually gets you know formed it takes shape um but again you have to watch this here as well so maybe we get a bit of, of weakness today okay what else is there to say let's take a look at a few stocks i adjusted the jesse stein scan and then I get two stocks with unusual volume. The iRobot one here is a potential acquisition target for Amazon. So we don't need to look at it. And this here is just an ETF for mortgage-backed securities. We don't need to look at that. So there's nothing here. And then if you look at pre-market, as of a few minutes ago, this is what we get. Um, the one that is definitely in play here is PDD. It's massively in play. This is a $134 stock that has been traded almost 2 million volume. That is really, really a lot. So PDD we need to look at. This one here is up too much. This one here is not up enough. And then on the decliner side, very thin volume, not sufficient market cap, too much of a move, also not sufficient market cap. So the only stock in play that I see based on earnings is PDD. So let's take a look at PDD. And we're going to look at the bigger picture first. This is a daily time frame. I used to have this idea here, it seems, in the past, um, very early on. So with a turning point somewhere here at 618, now the stock has moved up above the 618, but it could still be in, in play easily for the cipher, right? So this, this looks fairly clean, how this moved. So might be somewhat of a risk of actually a reversal, but we don't want to overinterpret that too much. We want to deal with what we have now what we have now is a gap up in, in the stock on very high volume um, that has basically left behind the price action of the last few years, right? So everything in 2023 has been left behind, everything in 2022 and 2021, not quite, right? Because it used to be, you know, all the way up there, 2021 still. But so far, you know, it has really freed it up itself up which is you know all the way up there the question is if this is going to hold so we are up here pre marked 14 percent that's a little bit more than i typically like but the real asset test is the one minute chart so if you look at that and i need to activate extended trading hours and maybe we do it just that as well question is always the same we had the earnings it seems that they have not put the earnings results in yet um, they're a bit slow here with trading view it would be nice to know about these earnings so we can go to finwis back to finwis that is 
put in PDD. And then we can see what the news say about them. PDB, PDD stock source on earnings is Alibaba and Amazon rivals see staggering growth. Revenue beat beats estimates. It's estimates and revenue. Revenue is important, obviously. And the rest here is older. So if you look at the sentiment here, it keeps repeating itself, especially investors business daily, best China stocks. It just, you know, it just it just makes makes me scratch my head, I believe. See how they these five are in a buy range, these four are in a buy range, these three are in a buy range, these two are in a buy range. Do you see something here, right? Do you think this is properly researched stuff? No, this is just for pushing the narrative out, right? It happens over and over and over again here. So this, this makes me scratch my head, but anyways. Um, this is a China stock. You have to be careful with China stocks, no doubt. My real issue is I need to have something to work with on the one minute chart, right? Here's the 618, by the way. I have to be able to work with something and that something is typically a line, a trend line that has three contact points. Now this has two so far. Maybe there will be a third one. Maybe it's even good enough for a channel, who knows, looks like it. And then the question is, okay, if we break out further to the upside out of this channel, stop is typically at the low of the pre-market. So right now that would be somewhere here. What you can see though is that this is not coming in strong. This is actually doing the opposite, right? This is, this is slowly fading which is not that great. Another idea is from this point where the news came out all the way to the top, there's also 618 here, below the larger 618. Maybe this here can be a buying um, area for the case that this doesn't just go straight up or something. Um, you know, that's 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 a possibility as well. But so far, I'm not really so enthusiastic about this stock looking at the one minute chart. I, I don't really see so much interesting stuff in here, but you know, I'll monitor this over the next 40 minutes and make a decision if I wanna do something here. All right, good, so that's PDD. And that's pretty much it for the preview of the markets. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of weakness today. I think such a day, at least with a down move, an initial down move might be warranted. Um, is that good for PDD? Obviously not really unless it's strong enough to write its own story and that would be to the upside while the market is, is not going much higher. But definitely I would I would not suggest that this is a hostile environment for PED. Right? So the market so far is just doing its thing. It's nothing dramatic so far in, in pre-market or anything. All right guys that's pretty much it. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.